Today on Ham Radio QRP, we compare the effectiveness of the optional 300Hz crystal filter to the built-in 500Hz crystal filter. Let's do a quick video on the effectiveness of a 300Hz filter in an FTDX10. I have a signal generator. It's an old Knight Kits VFO and it's running into a dummy load but it is near the dummy load that the DX10 is currently connected to. So there's zero band noise, just a dummy load. And I'm gonna turn up the AF here. And we can see that we have a very weak signal. It's about half 1S unit. So 3 dB above noise, that's a very weak signal. If I were to include band noise in this, you wouldn't hear it, but I'm trying to set a fair test. And you can see that the VFO is drifty. It's an old tube radio VFO, so we're going to have to chase it just a bit. I presently have the 500 hertz filter engaged, and it's at its standard 500 hertz bandwidth. Now, to test against, I have a KX3 that is presently set to a tenth of a watt of power. Tenth of a watt. And it is also running into a dummy load. But if I transmit on that KX3 at a tenth of a watt, it's an S9 signal on the FTDX10. So right now it's 100 hertz away. Let's go to its, its signal. We can still hear our weak signal 100 hertz away but let's transmit and you can see that S9 signal of course obliterates the weak signal which is 100 hertz away but that's not the test we're trying to make so if we go down to the weak signal pretty much wiping it out at 500 hertz that's not a fair test. So what happens when we transmit again, but this time we narrow the digital filtering. It's almost gone, but that's as far as we can get. We still hear it 100 hertz away. So now let's try the same test with the 300 hertz crystal filter engaged. Okay, you heard a noticeable drop off in volume. That's because there's a six decibel insertion loss when that 300 hertz crystal filter is engaged. So we have the standard bandwidth right now at 300 hertz. Let's transmit 100 hertz away. Okay, still getting obliterated, but All right, let's try it with the 300 hertz filter again. I think the VFO is a little more stable for the moment. I've, I'm at 3870389.50 and 39.05. So again, 100 hertz away or zero beat. If we start transmitting, at the 300 hertz if I narrow it down it's still interfering but you can make out the weak signal okay so let's go back to our 500 hertz filter try it again DSP width. Do you hear the difference? It's still interfering, but you can make out the weak signal.
you hear the difference? It's still interfering, but you can make out the weak signal. <laughs> 